Hi there, Ladysmith area and friends. It's Shannon from Parks, Recreation and Culture, and I'm here to share with you a story that I hope that you'll enjoy. It's called Ish by Peter H. Reynolds. Raymond loved to draw. Anytime, anything, anywhere. One day, Raymond was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother Leon leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. He said, what's that? He asked. Raymond could not even answer. He just crumpled up his drawing and threw it across the room. Leon's laughter haunted Raymond. He kept trying to make his drawings look right but they never did. After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper, Raymond put his pencil down and said, I'm done. Marisol, his sister, was watching him. What do you want, he snapped. I was watching you draw, she said. Raymond sneered. I'm not drawing, go away. Marisol ran away, but not before picking up a crumpled sheet of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Raymond raced after Marisol, up the hall and into her room. Look what he finds in the room. He was about to yell, but fell silent when he saw his sister's walls. He stared at the crumpled gallery. This is one of my favorites, Marisol said, pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Raymond said but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vase-ish, she explained. Vase-ish? Raymond looked closer. Then he studied all the drawings and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look ish, he said. Raymond felt light and energized, thinking ishiously, allowed his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt, loose lines, quickly springing out without worry. Raymond once again drew and drew the world around him Making an ish drawing felt wonderful. He filled his journals, tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, afternoon-ish, fish-ish, and sun-ish. Raymond realized he could draw his ish feelings too. Peace-ish, silly-ish, and excited-ish. His ish art inspired ish writing. He wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew they were poem-ish. Ponder, pond-ponder, dream-yonder, pond-pond, yond-yond, gleam-wander, Raymond.
One spring morning, Raymond had a wonderful feeling. It was feeling that even ish words and ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savored it. He just enjoyed it. And Raymond lived ishfully ever after. the end ish. I hope you're having a wonderful day out in the sunshine doing something that makes you feel ishiously good.